Well, everyone, welcome to the winter trail to Portage Glacier. We are here to fulfill a dream of merging our passion for biking with exploring the majestic beauty of Alaska's glaciers. And we've invested a lot, both financially and emotionally, into making this a reality. And we're finally here for our first ride. But as often happens, things don't go as planned. Join us as we dive into our journey and be sure to stick around to discover essential insights you should know if you want to ride your bike to see one of Alaska's great natural wonders. One of the benefits of living in Alaska is access to impressive landscapes at a scale rarely found anywhere else. One of Alaska's most treasured national wonders are glaciers. Alaska has over 100,000 of them, most of which are inaccessible except by plane or helicopter. But seeing them up close is one of the most sought after experiences by visitors and locals. We've had the opportunity to explore a few glaciers, and we've done so with kayaks, water taxis, skis, crampons, and boots. And they've all offered unique experiences. But there's one method we haven't tried yet. One that combines one of our favorite pastimes with Alaska's frozen landscapes. Biking to glaciers is one of those magical experiences only offered to those people willing to withstand the harsh winter conditions. But as we've discovered, it takes more than just having the right gear. Located near the city of Whittier, about 60 miles from Anchorage, Portage Glacier is easily accessible and perfect for our first major ride. Kate and Tanya have been here before when they ski jord with the dogs. And while that trip was largely a success, things weren't looking quite as promising this time around. Freezing temperatures made the preparation of our bikes painful and slow. The front tire on Tanya's bike had already deflated, and a frozen valve stem made it almost impossible to reinflate. All right, let's do it. Finally ready and approaching the lake, we weren't met with what we'd envisioned. We were looking for clean ice, not fresh snow, but no worries. We've got this, right? We certainly thought so. After all, we'd invested in top-notch gear, including salsa fat tire bikes. Fat tire bikes were invented in Alaska. They were literally made for this. And with winter upgrades, including studded tires, fenders, and pogies, we felt ready for anything. While these investments reflected our commitment to fulfilling our dream, they couldn't prepare us for everything we encountered. Gear can only take you so far. Kate and I are failures. <laughs> we wanted to keep going. Kate and I were not willing to hike a bike the entire way to the yeah. glacier. There's too much little um, powdery snow underneath and the tire just go do, 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 and you don't move and then you go and then you fall. And uh, we need more practice. Yeah. Yep. We'll, we'll come back sometime. We missed the window. The window was like a week and a half long before it snowed and it was froze. We missed that window. Tanya was right. We had underestimated the importance of timing. Despite confident predictions by friends and even our local bike shop, we missed the narrow weather window required for riding, and it was difficult to accept. These conditions are rare and fleeting. It's a special mix of temperatures low enough to safely freeze the lake, but without any snowfall. These weather windows seem to only happen once or twice a year. Our enthusiasm for biking had blinded us to the fact that 
we could be met with adverse conditions. Worse, we failed to bring any backup options. Cross-country skis would have been a great alternative for this journey. We could have even hiked to the glacier. But we failed to bring our skis, and failed to bring a bike lock. We just outright failed at being prepared. It was a reminder of Alaska's unpredictable nature and the need for both flexibility in our plans and for mental toughness. After completing the winter upgrades on our bikes, it was time for a test ride. Our upgrades seemed to work well, but the ride revealed differing expectations between Kate and I. While I felt prepared and enthusiastic, Kate found the winter setup a bit more challenging. Unfortunately, the reality of winter riding hadn't met her expectation. But this was good to know now, before a big trip. It highlighted the importance of the mindset we'd need to get through a tough ride. Well, everyone, we have decided we're not gonna ride. After, I think we made it 100 yards, maybe 150. We're gonna turn around, go back to the truck. We're gonna try and find a groomed trail somewhere. Wanting to salvage our day of biking, we redirected to the groomed Girdwood Trail. We were elated to finally be covering some ground under our own power. when once again, Tanya's front tire rapidly lost air and she was forced to return to the truck, essentially ending our day. Exhausted and disappointed, Kate and I pushed on to Girdwood Brewing, where we'd rendezvous with Tanya and accept defeat. This was just one of those days. Measured against any metric, we utterly failed. In hindsight, we see our mistakes clearly. We were so focused on forcing our dream of biking that we missed seeing the glacier altogether. In reflecting on our journey, we've distilled some valuable lessons that we hope you can learn from too. Having the correct bikes and gear is essential, but it comes at a cost. Investing in quality equipment is necessary for safety and comfort, but it's not as important as mental toughness out on the trail. Gear can get us only so far. We've got to handle the rest. Ideal conditions make for a beautiful and easy trip, but in Alaska, weather windows are narrow, if we get one at all. Flexibility is key, and being prepared to adjust plans based on unpredictable elements is a necessity. You can still ride in less than ideal conditions, but mental preparation is paramount. Anticipating challenges and maintaining a positive mindset can turn a tough situation into a fun adventure. Having a backup plan and gear is crucial. Instead of expecting Alaska to accommodate our desires, be prepared to adapt to its conditions. Cross-country skis, hiking boots, or alternative transportation can save the day when biking isn't feasible. Never get discouraged if your plan doesn't work out. Be flexible and embrace the unexpected twists and turns. After all, the best memories often stem from the most unplanned moments shared with friends. That said, our trip did not go to plan, but it sure did make some memories. We'll do our best not to make these mistakes again, and we hope you'll be better prepared when you swap on those studded tires strap on pogies, and spin the pedals towards a towering glacier. We're not giving up, and we'll have more opportunities to fulfill this particular dream. Next time, we'll be ready, and now, so will you. If you liked this video, check out our playlist about biking in Alaska. Or take a look at Kate's doll sheep hunt. That's a pretty popular one. Did you know that you don't need to pay to be a YouTube subscriber? That's right, creating an account is free. You'll have easy access to all your favorite content, like Semi Wild Alaska, 
So be sure to create a profile and subscribe. And we'll bring you more great Alaska content.